Let's start at the end. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Naughty Dog's freaking killing it. And like you could hear people in the audience like shouting stuff out yeah. as they were getting, and then one person said it and it got real quiet. Yeah. <laughs> we were like, we knew, we knew. Oh my God, that was so good. Absolutely incredible. People were going berserk. I mean, it was an incredible show overall, but what an ending. Yeah. It's so hard to stick the ending, you know? The Last of Us Part Two. Me too. The Last of Us Part Two, it's real. She's all grown up. She's all grown up. She's all grown up now. And and Aww. and I have so many questions, you know. I, I'm I'm dying to know more. But The Last of Us Part Two, Part Two. Part Two. I didn't think we were gonna get one. Unbelievable. That's Unbelievable. amazing. And then I mean, going from the very end to the very beginning, again, Naughty Dog starting with that Uncharted with Chloe. I mean, did anybody suspect that? I didn't know I what didn't. that was. I was, you know, because we didn't see a developer up right. front. There's no logos or anything. So, you know, we see. I, I think it was set. It looked like it's maybe set in part of India. Mm -hmm. And I, I was, I was kind of like, what could this be? I mean, it yeah. was. It was so unusual, and then the crowd went berserk when Nadine from Uncharted 4 showed up. We've got Nadine, we've got Chloe, we've got a new Uncharted game. I know, and, and I think so many of us, when we played Uncharted 4, it was A Thief's End. We thought that was the end. Yeah. No, we're not ending it. It's a whole new beginning. I have a I'm lot of so questions excited. for a lot of different teams that are working <laughs> at Naughty Dog right now. But uh, there is a new Uncharted experience coming. That is fascinating. It looks like it, you know, Chloe and Nadine are a big part of it. So I want to know more about that. But I mean, this showcase, I mean, it was only a little over an hour, mm -hmm. but this thing was chock-a-block. What, what were some of your favorites? You know, uh, there were some things that I didn't even expect. Um, Absolver. Oh, yeah. That new fighting game. Yep, yep. I was, like, really into that, watching it and the way the mechanics were working. Slightly maybe a little Mortal Kombat-ish in the way that it, like, was playing out, but really different. Yeah, online. Very focused yeah. on online. That's a really that interesting That was really one. exciting for me. Did you catch Vane? I did. Yeah, yeah. That was cool. When when Gio was like, this is going to be the lightning round, you could have applied that to the whole show. Yeah, you really I mean, could it really felt that way. It really, it was just like like so many games just squeezed into this incredibly concentrated, you know, hour and, and some change. Uh, yeah, we're seeing a little bit here of Absolver. This is definitely a standout for me. Uh, you know, we were talking a little bit about Vane. Uh, Vane looked incredible. I'll tell you one that I, I, I think is really for the diehards that came out of all yeah. this was Windjammers. Yeah. <laughs> now this one is like borderline, I mean, inside joke almost in the industry. I know there's a lot of fans out there, this game. This is an older arcade game that has like a cult following, Windjammers. Uh, Jeff Gersman at Giant Bomb's a huge fan. A lot of folks on Gaff are big fans of this one. I love that they didn't change it too much either. Like it's still totally that retro yeah. feel. And here we're seeing a little bit of this Windjammers. Yeah. This is one that really, I think in the audience, a, a lot of folks maybe are a little too young. They never played <laughs> it in the arcade. I actually have never played this game, but I'm very familiar with it. Yeah. So this is finally my chance to play Windjammers. It's coming to PS4. Dreams can come yes. true. This is one a lot of people uh, were hoping would somehow, some way, okay. eventually be sort of reintroduced. There's a lot of things that they're bringing back. I mean, Crash Bandicoot, now we're going to have all three of the first three remastered, I'm, and it looked so good. I want to talk about this here, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy Insane for, trilogy, for yes. a second. This, this Crash, I mean, this game, when I heard that they were working on a remaster mm -hmm. of Crash Bandicoot, I said, okay, I think I know what to expect there. It's, you know, it's 1080p or maybe it's, you know, 4K on yeah. PS4 Pro. Look at this. This is so crazy. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the details just in his eyebrows alone. The eyebrows I love that they, like, drew attention to that, too. That I so have cool. it on good authority that there are more <laughs> polygons in Crash Bandicoot's <laughs> eyebrows now on PS4 than there was in the entire Crash Bandicoot. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm lying. <laughs> uh, this looks incredible, it's though. so um, good. I mean, it's 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 stunning. And and, and this is uh, this is Vicarious Visions. Um, um, they have a history here. These guys are these guys are very very. Look at this. We're seeing like the comparison. Unbelievable, it's right? Gorgeous. And I'm actually going to get a chance to sit down with them uh, tomorrow. Oh, excellent. And, and excellent. we're going to get a, li a little bit more in depth about the actual gameplay of it and, and yeah. bringing this legacy of Crash. I mean, I think it was funny that Sean was poking fun at himself for yeah. wearing the T-shirt last year. Yeah, yeah. And here we are a year later, and now we actually get to see it. Outrageous. Really cool. So that was a big one. I'll tell you one that got people really going. Not, I mean, a whole lot of things got people going. But when they start talking about Parappa the Rapper. Yeah. Parappa the Rapper is coming back. It's coming to PS4 Pro. And it looks absolutely incredible. Yeah. It's it's they're doing native 4K on PS4, super high res. They put a lot of work into it, you can tell. Mm -hmm. Awesome trailer. Super it's such an iconic <laughs> game. 
but it's look how clean and crisp and clear. What I love looks. too about these games is that you know there are probably some people in our audience here at PSX that weren't even born yet yeah. when these games were coming out. It's crazy. Hey, well, look Justin, at this. Come right on, on in. Cue. Right on cue. Perfect. He joins the crew. Outstanding. Hey. Did you guys talk about The Last of Us? Uh, we we, we started, started with, with The Last of Us. We started with that. How could okay. you not? Okay. Jump, jump I saw in. that you talked about Parappa without me. We just started. We just started. You're here. Just in time. I'm the biggest Parappa fan. I'm so thrilled to see Parappa the Rapper remastered alongside Patapone and uh, Loco Roco That's yeah. right. coming to PS4. Absolutely Special awesome. Special demo of Parappa the Rapper <laughs> tonight. remastered tonight. Tonight. There That's was a great. lot of things I'm that so were excited. announced that you can play today. That's right. That was great. Was it uh, Marvel vs. Capcom? Uh, that, yeah, so, okay, this is big news. This We, we didn't even get on, I mean, <laughs> we could sit here for three hours, I feel like, and just dissect this show. Let's just do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we got okay. So we got we got the Marvel versus Capcom Infinite. That is oh, yeah, 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 big yeah. news. People went berserk for this one. Curly mustache. That's, that's right. <laughs> obviously, been a little bit of chatter. I think it's a little bit different. The, the some of the characters I'm seeing here are ones I think that are new to the series, right? Yeah. Yeah, it, it looks awesome. I mean, when you, as soon as you saw Mega Man on there, people just oh lost. Oh, my yeah. goodness. People have been wanting Mega Man in MVC for a while. I don't think he was in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. They had zero there, but yeah. I don't think Mega Man made it. He, he was so in 2, though, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah. people are so hyped to see yeah. Mega Man make a return to Marvel vs. Capcom. That's huge. Now, another big piece of news, though. So, I mean, this is this is big. I mean, we're, we're looking at a trailer. We don't. Have, I haven't seen any gameplay, although it sounds like we're going to see gameplay tonight. after tonight. Capcom, yeah. yeah. After the Capcom so Cup. We're going to see a little bit of gameplay tonight after Capcom Cup, so that's going to be here. That's actually... Actually, Capcom Cup happening right here at PlayStation Experience. That's right. Stay tuned to live.playstation.com. You can watch the whole thing. Thank you for that. Good plug. But <laughs> the other big news, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 yes. is coming back. Yes. Exclusively on PS4. That's right. When is that? Is that tonight? Tonight. tonight. This tonight. game and that game. And here's this. Unbelievable. Yeah. So many games coming out tonight. Uh, Garo, Mark of the Wolves. Speaking ah, of fighting games, yes. SNK, or uh, yeah, uh, uh, Neo Geo Classic, Garo, Mark of the Wolves, coming uh, coming out on PS4 tonight. That got a lot of people going in the crowd, too. Let I've never it played die. it. Let coming it die. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, Let It Die free. free. Coming out yeah. today what? free on PS4. I've been curious about that one. Yeah, me too. Me too. That's uh, I'm actually going to get things. to talk to them a little bit later today on the, on right. the live cast to find Ooh. out some more info. Yeah. Yeah. We're pointing out, we're just getting started. Yes. I mean, this is the beginning. We're going to get in-depth interviews with some of the folks we're up there on stage. We're going to learn a little more. We're going to have some great, great, great panels. Yes. I think I can talk about the fact that Naughty Dog will, in fact, be doing a couple of panels here today at PlayStation Whether Experience. you can or can't <laughs> talk about that, you just did. I so. just did. It's, it's a thing. There. It's a oh thing. Oh, my gosh. There's... Actually, in just a little bit here at uh, noon, noon o'clock, I'm going to be actually hosting, moderating a panel to learn a little bit more about Uncharted, The Lost Legacy. Is that what it's called? Uncharted, yes. The Lost Legacy. I, Chloe's back. She yeah, went back. I know. No, it's so, so cool. cool. Yeah. That's great. That's great. So we're going to be hearing a little bit more, actually a lot more from those guys here not long from now, a little under an hour. So I'll be rushing up there in a little bit. But here we're getting a little bit of footage of this. Oh, yeah. This one, I had no clue yeah, what this no. was. So we kicked off the show with this, with just cold open and this. And everyone is like, what? what, what is it? It looks incredible. It looks yeah. so detailed. I mean, looking back in retrospect, of course it's Naughty Dog. Look at yeah. how beautiful this is. I mean, <laughs> not many developers can pull this this kind of scene off. But I see this scene and I go, what is this? Right, was it like a mystery? It, is this some what like new on? horror game? Is this, you know, I, I wasn't sure what it was. Like it looks spectacular, but this I think this is a very different tone what we're seeing here from what we've seen from some of the Uncharted oh, games. absolutely. So really interesting there, and I'm really interested to talk to. Yeah, she was conspicuously absent from Uncharted 4. Yeah. I'm really excited that we're gonna get to see what she's up to. Yeah, that is the ricketyest ladder of all time. <laughs> that makes me so nervous watching that. I think Please the Uncharted be careful. series is full of rickety ladders <laughs> the worst and ladders. bridges and walkways. They need to hire some better contractors to build these sets. But, um, yeah, so it, that's incredible. Uh, obviously, new Uncharted, The Lost Legacy. Clearly, Chloe and Nadine are involved in some way. Okay, so, I mean, where to, where else to go? I mean, So we, we've got uh, uh, two days' worth of programming yes. coming up here between the panels. We've got a ton of live cast segments like we always do when we yep. do these events. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be talking to Supergiant Games about Pyre. Great. One that I can't wait for. That we looked good. Trailer yeah. that, that looked really good. Uh, yeah. looked like some multiplayer action going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. For the studio, so yeah. I'm going to ask them about that some That's more. great. What are you guys looking forward to in terms of the segments you're going to be hosting? Oh boy, oh boy. I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking at, you know, I want to learn more. I want to learn more about everything, to be brutally honest with you. Um, I, I definitely want to learn a little more about Horizon. Oh, this is yeah, one yeah, that's yeah. just a couple months away. They just saw a new trailer for that, too. We sure did, so and it looked good. incredible. Gorilla is just, I mean, they are, they are humongous. These guys are so talented. Um, and there's really, there's really just a ton more coming. 
Um, I do think we have to keep it moving here today. So All right, let's do it. What I'll say is we got a lot more in store. We've got panels. We've got tons of demos, interviews, live casts all weekend long. So keep it parked here. We've got Meredith wearing this amazing jacket. I know. Yeah. You know so have you and you can watch at me, Meredith like, in a jacket. And, and is it like the order? Is it dishonored? <laughs> a little bit of both, maybe. That's right. So <laughs> stay with us. We've got a lot more. We're just getting started with PlayStation Experience 2016 from the Anaheim Convention Center. Stay with us. PlayStation.